কমছে পাট এবং পাটজাত পণ্যের রপ্তানি 2022-2023 অর্থ বছরে আয় মোট 91.22 কোটি ডলার যা আগের বছরের চেয়ে 5.5 শতাংশ কম বাংলাদেশের সোনালী আস পাট নিয়ে স্বপ্নের শেষ নেই কিন্তু সেই স্বপ্ন পূরণ হয়েছে হাতে গোনা The golden fiber of Bangladesh jute From a historic and cultural perspective the jute industry is one of the most significant industries in Bangladesh Though it was once held as one of the most important economic contributors to the lives of thousands of people of the region, the industry is now a burden to the economy of Bangladesh. How did the golden fiber of Bangladesh become such a failure will be explored in today's case study. The case study will explore the historic rise and fall of the industry since the beginning. The decline of the jute industry is not a recent issue and it was caused by many factors. One of the major factors here is the increased use of plastics and hemp, which has lowered the demand for jute. Also, independent production of jute in the exporting regions is also a reason behind the fall of the industry's growth. Rather, the jute industry of Bangladesh has gradually declined over the past 50 years. Though, jute industry of the country is not performing well, by the end of 2020s, Bangladesh is alone the producer of around 33% of the jute produced in the world. pre-colonial and colonial eras before 1971 Bangladesh became independent from Pakistan in 1971 Before its independence it was the eastern state of Pakistan which was called East Pakistan since the year 1947 to 1971 And before that it was a part of the undivided India which was a British colony for almost 200 years Prior to the middle part of the 19th century Jute produced in the Bengal was used for rope production and clothes using local hand looms. Here, Bengal is not only the Bangladesh region, but also a large portion of India, which was also called as the undivided Bengal. The jute industry of Bengal first came to the attention of the British during the Napoleonic Wars of 1803 to 1815. The supply of Russian flax ran short to Britain and the potential alternative to Russian flax was jute. but production of jute fabric in the british mills was difficult as the current machines were not supportive to the production system the jute was too stiff for the machineries held in the british mills a firm called balfour and melville however invented a process to weaken the jute fabric using water and continued operations however the first order for bengal produced jute came in 1838 when jute sacks were being used for sugar plantations During the Crimean War of 1853 to 1856, again the demand for jute increased. Jute produced clothing, bags, ropes were largely used in wars, for which the demand increased. In the year 1855, British businessman George Auckland and his Bengali partner Shyam Sundarson established the first jute factory in India on the banks of Hooghly River. Hooghly River is not a part of modern-day Bangladesh. but it was an important portion of the undivided Bengal or Bangla. During the 1870s, the American Civil War restricted the supply of cotton to Britain. And, the government of Britain found jute as a better alternative to cotton. As it was outsourced from a British colony, it was also available at cheaper price. In the final part of the 19th century, jute revolution took place in the undivided India. By the year 1882, there were 18 mills in the region as working at mills provided fixed salaries the poor segments of the society started working in the mills within 19 years in 1901 there were 51 mills in the region and more importantly around 10000 people were employed in this british established jute mills 90% of the jutes produced in the bengal region were exported to the united states new zealand and australia Though more than 10,000 people were employed in these mills, but majority of the factories were owned by British businessmen. Jute industry appeared to be a blessing for the war-devastated people of the region after the 1920s. After the World War I, the price of jute increased dramatically, making the industry bigger within the next decade. But again, after the economic downfall of the global economy in 1929, the jute industry started to fall. After setting up an inquiry to find out the downfall, it was found that imbalance of jute prices and production levels caused the downfall of the industry. It was when the British government decided to put restriction on jute production. 
the government restricted the production levels to adjust with market demands. Wars have always been an opportunity for the jute industry. As the jute industry grew during the First World War, it happened again in the Second World War II. With the increased intensity of the World War II, demand for jute also increased for warfare. And, by the end of the World War, there were 111 jute mills in the West Bengal. All the jute used for manufacturing in these mills were produced in the East Bengal. The problem started after the partition took place in the year 1947. The west side of Bengal was given to India while the east side was given to Pakistan. And, this east side is currently known as modern-day Bangladesh which was the provider of jute for the 111 mills in the west side. As partition only took place, and trade was still connected between the countries, there was free trade between the two newly formed countries. But in 1948, the two countries declared border restrictions. This created a massive problem for the jute business. The jute mills remained in India while the jute production remained in East Pakistan or modern-day Bangladesh. So, both sides had no choice but to become self-sufficient in the jute industry to survive. While the government of India invested in jute production, the government of Pakistan encouraged domestic businessmen of East Bengal to invest in jute mills. By the year 1951, Bawa Jute Mills Limited, Adam G. Jute Mills, and Victory Jute Products Limited were established in East Pakistan or today's Bangladesh. The Pakistan Industrial Development Corporation invested largely to develop the Adam G. Jute Mill which had slowly become the largest jute mill in the world. The highest number of employees working in the Adam G. Jute Mill was 25,000 people which is a significant contribution for the economy of Bangladesh. By the year 1960, there were 14 jute mills in East Pakistan and, the Pakistan Industrial Development Corporation financially supported 12 of the jute mills to ensure growth and productivity. With the help of PIDC, West Pakistani investors were gradually increasing their investment in jute mills. Most of the investors of the jute mills were investors from West Pakistan which was a cause of concern for the investors in the east side or modern-day Bangladesh. In this situation, the Minister of Industry of Pakistan was a bull Kashim Khan. He decided to divide the PIDC into two parts. PIDC East and PIDC West. The newly formed industrial corporation helped the Bengali smaller entrepreneurs to invest in the jute mills. The Bangladeshi investors took this as a great opportunity and started growing their investments in the jute industry. With time, jute mills owned by Bangladeshis increased fast with time. By the year 1970, there were 77 jute mills in East Pakistan. The number of jute mills in East Pakistan increased by 5.5 times, in just only 10 years. More than 170,000 people employed in the jute mills of East Pakistan which become a serious contributor to the national GDP. Pakistan government earned 77 million rupees only from the export of jute products of East Pakistan. East Pakistan was the largest exporter of jute around the world by the end of 1970s. While in 1952, jute brought 0.2% of foreign revenue, by 1970 it brought 46% of it. Post-colonial era, 1971 to present. After the liberation war in 1971, Bangladesh became free from Pakistan and there was no more East Pakistan. In this situation, the jute mill owners from the west had to abandon their facilities in Bangladesh. So, the Bangladeshi government formed a jute board and ordered it to take control over the jute mills abandoned by the jute mill owners. But there was a big problem. Previously jute mill corporations were administered by businessmen who had experience and also focused on profit. But now, the abandoned jute mills were under the supervision of politicians who were incapable of administering jute mills. Rather, corruption started to grow in the jute industry. In 1972, the Bangladeshi government declared socialism and took over all industries. This also included the jute industry. The world's largest jute mill Adam G also suffered this blow due to mismanagement and performance started to decline. This was also the start of decline for the jute industry. As Bangladesh was a newly formed country, the first blow it took was the devaluation of its currency. Bangladesh was a war-devastated nation which was not enjoying a stable currency at the time. Due to this factor, the jute industry saw a decline in revenues. 
and political leaders taking over the control of jute industry made it corrupted where profit was not the main motive anymore. By 1976, the government of Bangladesh started a ministry of jute to revive the jute industry as soon as possible. In the year 1979, the government understood the importance of privatization of jute industry and the mills were given back to their previous owners. By 1982, around 38 mills were returned to their previous owners and also, two were made private. But the newly formed administrations of jute mills couldn't go back to the situation they left back before 1970. As the jute industry tried to revive itself, situations became more challenging with time. By the year 1990, the jute industry saw its worst. By then, the jute industry had 33.75 billion takas in liabilities to the local banks and state-owned banks. To improve the situation, World Bank suggested jute mills to reduce their production capacity and also, make the jute industry 100% private as soon as possible. The World Bank also offered a loan of $250 million to make the jute industry grow again. But the government again invested funds in the state-owned jute mills which were ultimate failures again. Current State In the year 2002, Adam G. Jute Mills was shut down after failing constantly over the years. The remaining jute mills working in the country still failed to make revenues and become a headache for the government. One of the main reasons behind the fall of jute industry was the state ownership of jute mills. If the jute industry was never privatized it might have survived the blow of the war too. Although, World Bank suggested a 100% privatization of jute industry in 1990, nothing changed after that. In 2006, 78% of jute mill ownership of Bangladesh was held by the state. To help survive, the government made it compulsory for wholesale manufacturers of goods like rice and sugar to use jute bags. By 2018, some more industries were added to use jute bags compulsorily. However, in 2018, the Ministry of Jute planned an investment of 100 billion Bangladeshi taka to grow the jute mills again. Currently, jute exports bring around 1 billion yearly for the Bangladeshi economy. But this is nothing compared to its golden age when it became a significant contributor to the GDP of the regime. From 2010 to 2020, the government has paid out funds of 7.5 billion to the jute industry, but it was only able to make profit in one year of those 10 years. And, overall, also, the jute has been able to make profit in only in the fiscal year 2010 to 11. The popular daily of Bangladesh Daily Star has regarded the jute industry as a bottomless pit. While situations are getting challenging with time, there is not much evidence of potential investment to revive the jute industry. Some entrepreneurs have stepped out to bring back the glory days of jute industry again. Among them, Kiyu Fashion is a renowned brand. The brand is trying to promote and create a demand for jute-based products in the global market. Some other local entrepreneurs are also trying the same. But to bring the glory days back, it is compulsory to make collaborative efforts and invest in innovation. Otherwise, jute industry will become a part of the history of Bangladesh.